What's up, everyone? I'm Pete Green, product manager on the Photoshop team. I'm excited to share with you some tips and tricks about a new magical AI-powered feature called Generative Fill in Photoshop Beta. This feature enables you to add, extend, or even remove content from your images non-destructively using simple text prompts to achieve realistic results that you'll be amazed by in seconds. So let's get right into it. For this demo, we'll start with a photo I took in Montana, and we'll use some simple text prompts to achieve some amazing results. So we'll start with a selection, and I've got the lasso tool selected, and I'd like to put a castle up in this corner here. And so we'll make a selection in the shape of a castle, because the shape of your selection will affect the output that you get from generative fill. Then the contextual taskbar opens up and is right underneath my selection. And we'll click Generative Fill and use a simple prompt like Castle and then click Generate. Photoshop creates a new generated layer in your Layers panel and begins to generate content. And then we've also got in the Properties panel three variations. We're going to go with this. You can also use generative fill to remove content from an image. And so I'll make a selection right around the edges of this fence and then click generative fill and then click generate without a prompt. This looks great. Now I'd like for there to be a party happening at this castle. And so I'm going to make another selection right here. We'll draw a selection like so. Type in truck carrying balloons and then hit Generate. All right, that one looks really good. Now, another amazing use of this feature is that you can expand your images. So I'm gonna move the contextual taskbar a little bit out of the way, and then I'm gonna pin it right up there using these three dots and then pinning the bar. And so I'm gonna zoom this image out and grab the Crop tool. And from here, we're gonna expand this image just like so using the crop tool, and then we'll press enter and reposition the image. We'll grab the rectangular marquee tool and let's select the image that we have, but we're gonna leave a little bit on the edges as we invert this selection. That makes sure that we have a little bit of the original image content included in this new selection. And so with this outer area being selected, we'll click generative fill and we'll leave it unprompted and just click generate. And look at that. Amazing. So let's go with this one where the hill is just traveling down. And then we'll make one last selection with our lasso tool. Like maybe we want to have some, some fireworks. We'll hit generative fill and type in fireworks and hit generate. Beautiful. This middle one's going to be the winner for me. We're going to adjust the crop just a little bit like so. And just like that, you can transform a photo into a brand new scene with Generative Fill and the power of Photoshop. For now, Generative Fill is not available if you're under 18 and currently is not to be used for commercial purposes. Now, there are many other ways that you can use this feature. We'd love for you to take inspiration from our rich community of people over on our forums or in the Photoshop Discord space who are already using Firefly and Generative Fill and that'll help you get new ideas and learn different ways that you want to use prompts within Generative Fill. So please share your creations with us, share your tips and tricks or with others in the forums or in Discord, and check out the link below to learn more. Thanks everyone. Have fun creating.